Hi. Hi, everyone, and welcome to a brand new show. I'm Dr. Schompau, and I'm so fortunate and lucky to have Wim Hof in the house with me. The actual Wim Hof, yes, the Iceman is here. So thank you, everyone, for joining from around the world. We've got so many people coming in. We're very fortunate Wim is live in Amsterdam, and I'm here with you. And we're going to be talking about beating stress and inflammation. Yes, a very, very important topic. So I'm Dr. Schompau, D-O-C-T-R Schompau, not to be confused with Sean Paul. And I've been a medical doctor for around 11 years, and I'm really passionate about prevention is the cure. And that's my motto. I believe simple changes can have profound effects on people. I worked in refugee camps where I found out we had limited resources. We didn't have you no know, blood tests or scans. We only could use ourselves and our brains to work out how to help people. So simple changes and what we have around us can make a huge effect. So thank you everyone for joining. If you, you know, if you like what you see, it'll be really, I'll be grateful if you could like this page, Dr. Champal on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. And it's my privilege to welcome the Iceman here. Just to give you a quick note, this is of course, information is general in nature. If you have any questions, you have to seek advice from a medical practitioner. So without further ado, I'm just going to introduce Wim Hof. He's, been, he's had a Guinness Book of Records, 10 or 12 Guinness Book of Records. He's been on the Joe Rogan podcast. He's hugely influential, and we're so honored to have him here. How are you doing, Wim? Yeah, great, great. Every day. And it's taken on, I have to say. Uh, since the pandemic, uh, people begin to awaken much more uh, to their uh, inner uh, say uh, mechanisms, the immune system, the endocrine system, but begin to look into it and they take it on because they see governments being not able uh, to deal with a invisible uh, enemy uh, called uh, COVID. And yeah. I say uh, for uh, dealing with that, uh, you should not uh, uh, go directly uh, uh, locking people up but uh, actually bring people more outside in the forest uh, into breathing, into the cold, into their own immune system, mm -hmm. uh, uh, preventing uh, it uh, from bacterial or viral stress. Uh, uh, it's perfectly built to fend off uh, viral and bacterial uh, stressors. So, um, but since the pandemic has begun millions more are practicing this method mm -hmm. and you know uh, because this works yeah. uh, it it spreads it spreads like a positive wildfire like a positive virus yeah. this is a time for transition Thanks. where people are able to wake up to their own inner mechanisms that yeah. are able very able to deal with any kind of stressor. Thank you, Wim. And for those who don't know you, just a quick background, Wim. I mean, you've influenced millions of people through your charisma, your unique experiences. You've changed so many lives. And we were talking before, Wim, you know, you've been a doctor for a while. Yeah. For those of you, who, for those people who don't know you, where does the, the Iceman, the name Iceman come from? Iceman is a man like you and me. Uh, I'm not a woman, I'm a man, but, uh, but uh, most of uh, uh, it all is, I'm a human. I'm a human you can identify with. I'm a very, uh, I'm a dropout of school, yet I'm teaching doctors and professors all over the world. I'm collaborating. Why? Because I've gone into nature. And nature has answers where we, in our society, alienated from nature, suddenly find ourselves with problems and we cannot solve and then we come up with pills and medicines and earning models on the, our diseases and i say hey stop 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 uh, we have capacities uh, uh given by nature by birthright to fend off bacteria and viral stress mm -hmm. not only also emotional stress mental stress uh, 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 weather stress, thermal stress, and all, all kinds of more, and pain. There is the opioid crisis in the world. We have uh, abilities to fend off pain, and but we lost this connection inside, and I found that in nature. Nature has been my school, so I went into nature, and I found myself exercising, 
and uh, teaching myself the abilities of the mind and body, uh, mirroring it in extreme cold environment, like water, like the Mount Everest in short, or running uh, marathons uh, beyond the polar circle in short, so, or, or in the desert, which is thermal stress, and uh, show it to do it without training and without water. Uh, that is the power of the mind, uh, mind's capacity is much more than we have been schooled in. And nature taught me there, I could discover, follow my intuition, my instinct, and find out much more than what was written in books. And then I found profound answers on our existent problems, uh, namely the, the power to tap into the so-called up till very recently, uh, uh, up till we uh, showed it in university competitive studies, how to tap into the autonomic nervous system, mm -hmm. which was unknown. And, uh, 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 and that related to the autonomous processes of the immune system, which was unknown to be within uh, the capacity to control it at will. Uh, for humans, any humans, and we showed them all different. Mm -hmm. We showed that we are capable to get into the autonomic nervous system, to get into the uh, autonomous processes of the immune system and hormonal system, and many more things. So we now are able, in contrary of what was stated in science, that we are are now able to get to the deepest of the brain, into the bone marrow, into the DNA. And we are doing all these studies, and mm. we have shown this in 2014, how to beat, say, inflammation. Yeah. Do so you know, last year, Rishi, a wizard, uh, the wise man, the Rishi, yeah. uh, 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 that last year, one and a half million people died of COVID. Yes, but and you see the turmoil in the world, but you don't know that sixty yeah. to seventy million people every year die of inflammation, and we showed in two thousand fourteen how to bring down inflammation within a quarter of an hour. Not I began to show that I was the first one in science to show that, yeah. but then that is NS one. That is just one number. And then I showed it with 18 people. And after 16,134 people all doing the same model, being injected with a E. coli bacteria, which uh, creates a overactive immune system, cytokine storm, disease like fever, headaches, uh, all over agony, mm -hmm. vomiting, nausea, for three to six hours, 16,000 people suffered all about the same uh, sickness, disease, for three to six hours. It's a controlled experimental model. And then I took it and I had no sickness. I had no disease, no symptoms. And then I said, then they said, but you are the Iceman. And I, I say, no, anybody can do what I am doing. So are you, I, I, just, I just to clarify, you're, you're saying anyone can do what you're doing, yes? So when was your first experience of being in the ice per se? When did you, because I understand, I know you had a sad incident with your wife, you know, your ex-wife. Do you mind explaining a bit more to the viewers about? I was 17, 17, yes. when I began to go, into, uh, uh, to go into the ice. I was already at 17 years, a, 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 a quite a philosopher, quite a debater. Like a rishi, like me, guy. or like a rishi, like a wise man. Yeah, yes, exactly. The, uh, I wasn't yet a Maharishi, but <laughs> I was a Rishi, all right. <laughs> and uh, at that time, I, I, I found myself uh, uh, at 14, 13, 14, uh, attracted to the Maharishi, Mahesh Yogi, who came from India, also a doctor. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and uh, he introduced a, a transcendental meditation. But back then, it was all strange, new, a man with a beard there and long hair, a doctor coming with a TM and uh, 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 like flying uh, uh, like the city, the Lagimi city, 
which is a supernatural power and all. And he began to advocate if only 1% is doing this in the whole world, you get uh, uh, you, uh, the violence and all will go down because you change the frequency in a unified field of uh, consciousness. So uh, he was advocating that and uh, I was, uh, I loved it. I loved it and uh, I loved uh, uh, to be a vegetarian with, uh, back then when I was 12, I began with being a vegetarian, which was unheard of. Nobody did that. I was a stranger, the black sheep and uh, uh, you know, nobody wanted to uh, be with that strange guy, which I was, I was into, I love to do yoga and I was interested, you know, intrigued. But then still, I did not find the real answers I was looking for. Uh, and at 70, age of 17, I found myself attracted by intuition uh, uh, to go into cold water, into freezing cold water in the winter day, in morning, a Sunday morning. I went in and there I found the stillness of my mind, which was the thing I was looking for. The depth of my mind awakened at that moment, just like an epiphany. And that made me uh, uh, go back uh, every day. 44 years ago it began. And every day you can find me or in a cold shower or in, in cold uh, uh, natural bodies of water during all the winter. I'm, I'm wearing nothing but uh, 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 shorts and a t-shirt most, most of the winter outside. And uh, I feel great because that's thermogenesis. But back then, I just felt great doing it. And from there, uh, logically, what happens when you go into cold water, you take a deep breath. <gasps> That's what you do. And you learn to deep breathe. And that will change the biochemistry. The pH level goes up, alkalinity. And then the right pH level makes the adaptation toward the stressor much better. And now it shows when I did a study in 2011 here in the Radboud University by staying 80 minutes in direct contact with ice uh, and they took the blood while I was in the ice uh, with one arm like this out of the ice uh, here and uh, uh, they, uh, they, yeah, they took the blood and uh, uh, my core body temperature remained the same. So that is a that is autonomous processes in the body, thermal regulation done by the hypothalamus, a, a, P, a, a, a part of the brain we cannot uh, really control. And now I was controlling it like out of uh, uh, all what they thought is possible and never been seen. And so I show to be stay at 37 degrees, 80 minutes long in direct contact with ice while I was talking to the doctors and the professors, there were about 20 people around me mm. with monitors and I was uh, wired uh, to them. They could see my uh, vital functions, my cool body temperature, skin temperature. They could see, uh, uh, yeah, many things. The uh, 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 blood samples uh, later showed that my blood at that moment was able to receive endotoxin and normally you have a, a very aggressive reaction of endotoxin or E. coli bacteria uh, uh, inserted. You get a very violent reaction of the immune cells. In my case, 0%. And they had never seen that before. Yeah. And then they began to go with me in vivo directly administering a direct injection uh, E. coli bacteria. And then they saw I had no symptoms whatsoever. And then uh, I said, but uh, uh, what I can do, anybody can do. So give me a group of people. They gave me a group of people. And uh, within four days, they were uh, able to influence into deeply into the uh, autonomous nervous system, into the endocrine system and into the immune system, which was uh, 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 not been shown before that moment in yeah. 
the medical science and history. And that is groundbreaking. Mm. That is fundamental because what uh, what we found in this method, this method coming from me, the searcher, the seeker, finding wisdom, Rishi, inside uh, the nature, coming back and doing it for 25 years, being called crazy for what I was doing by ev anybody. Now you see the world who is now crazy. But I got the answer. The answer is simple. We have alienated from nature and we are part of nature. We mm. have to get back to nature and make the immune system work the way nature meant it to be. And that it's in there, but it is weakened. Mm. And it's in there, but we have never schooled our neurology to connect. If we talk about yoga, yoga means connecting. Yes. And uh, we, we never connect it with our deeper physiology of the mind and the body as one. Yeah, and now we have shown in, uh, in uh, laboratory uh, uh, brain scans uh, that we are able consciously to activate not 16% of our brain, but 100. Yes. Can I ask you? That has been shown cool. all. Can I ask you, that's great, William. Can I ask you, obviously, you mentioned, you know, when you were younger, you looked into yoga, you're vegetarian. How, you know, your breathing process also uses, there are different pranayama, different breathing techniques through ancient India. So how did you discover this complete, you know, this breathing technique that you use that's so popular in the world? If you, Wim Hof if breathing. you, if you, if you go into the cold, you, uh, 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 then you will be taught to breathe deeper. Yes. That's the, my... The cold is my guru. That, uh, that is the preceptor of the light. That is the cold. It brought it directly uh, without uh, intervention of my mind. It was not, this is it. No, it, it, it comes and you are doing it. Right. So when you went to the cold no... itself, you started breathing faster and that's when you found your technique. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. Then uh, very soon in the cold water, I found out if I was breathing deeply, slowly and deeply, not hyperventilating, just deeply. This speed, like 25 times while being in the cold water, I could take my last breath fully in and stay for five to seven minutes under the ice. No wow. problem. That is changing the biochemistry profoundly. Mm. Carbon dioxide being effectively blown off. Alkalinity, alkalosis almost comes in. And that makes me able to go down. I have no breathing reflex for uh, five to seven minutes. And that I did every day. And uh, I was a trained uh, f a figure, but this is not about the method. Uh, this is the way I discovered the power of changing your own biochemistry by profound breathing while mm. a stressor is going on. Now, people try to, if they do it, say in a warm a swimming pool, it works completely different. They should go to free diving lessons. Uh, free diving and they are there like a worldwide every year about 1600 to 2000 people drown because of shallow water blackout yes that is that that you are swimming under the uh, water and uh, uh, suddenly the reflex uh, uh, you get a blackout you get you get a blackout uh, you become unconscious uh, uh, and then uh, uh, the, the carbon dioxide builds up and you get the reflex to breathe. But then you are under the water. That is a shallow water black out. And uh, people die like uh, um, between one and two thousand people every year. And, uh, and I say to the people, don't mix this breathing technique. Don't you do, use it as a free diving technique because you have to this is done in icy water 
not in uh, uh, say uh, warm water warm water has a complete different thermophysiological reaction upon the breathing upon your consciousness upon yeah. your neurology so uh, uh, we what we say do this on a sofa or uh, on bed because it is very powerful it is a, a it has a, a potential to activate the adrenal axis profoundly yeah. and that uh, the adrenal axis is uh, something that works when people go in fear going into a bungee jump mm -hmm. then your adrenaline is working but this uh, uh, the level of the adrenaline activated through these breathing techniques we developed is much higher yeah imagine imagine that's what you do on a sofa or in bed because you can pass out if you do it wrongly a little bit wrongly you you just go with great speed if you make a little mistake you're out yeah so you have to learn how to do this breathing technique which is a very simple accessible a very powerful technique but do it Probably. well yeah. don't <laughs> don't do it with the contraindications like epilepsy or uh, they say high blood pressure but a lot of people have been cured doing this of high blood pressure we can all go into these subjects but just look into it we have a community on our website you can ask all these questions hundreds and thousands of people claim to have been healed mm. through this but, this is not, it's it's anecdotal sure. so it's anecdotal, a, as a doctor obviously as a doctor, it's real yeah so the, the thing is the conditions yeah. you're mentioning obviously you know you shouldn't do it when diving or driving due to the possibility of blackouts and also you shouldn't do the Wim Hof method whilst in cold water immersion, is that right? And you mentioned some medical conditions, any other conditions or circumstances you should be careful about when doing the Wim Hof method? Yes, be sure that when you have a condition, you take it easy. You yeah. don't go forcefully into this method because this method, yes, it is a power tool and uh, uh, and it's accessible and effective and powerful for every person but for those who have a condition it's like coronavirus coronavirus gets to the people who have an underlying condition because then they, they the body is jeopardized already and then it doesn't see it does it cannot deal with an extra tr uh, stressor no. that, that is what is happening and for but for those people who suffer from uh, epilepsy, pregnancy, high blood pressure, or, uh, or cardiovascular related diseases, I say it still works if you do it very easy. Yeah. Take it easy, keep your control, and then it will be able to, uh, uh, to benefit uh, the, even uh, those persons. But follow the protocols, and uh, and and, and t uh, yeah, uh, uh, study it well. Why do you want to do this? And uh, don't don't make it. Ah, oh, I just uh, like to go and swim in the uh, sea, or I do it uh, or in a congestion and in a car. Uh, I don't care. It's so easy. No, it's easy, effective, powerful, and uh, it will have great effect negatively if you do it wrong. Yes, but most of it is very, very positive. So yes. caution. Right. So I'm also talking to doctors. Well, I'm a medical doctor, and I wanted to just get your opinion. I know you know doctors seem to have bad rep in some circles regarding you know they say they're not really open to ideas. You know, there's kind of like a versus battle in a way. You know, but you know I think yes. some doctors are quite open to new possibilities and you know new ideas. Um, but they just want to have the scientific evidence to back it up that the benefits have made the risks and it's healthy and it's not harmful and as a doctor personally i've seen the remarkable effects of the wim hof method the breathing the cold therapy the meditation to really improve the lives of many people so i want to thank you for that and i know it's anecdotal but what would you say to doctors that are skeptical about the wim hof method uh to those uh, just look into the studies. Uh, we have reproduced the study in 2014, 
where we fundamentally changed uh, our understanding of what people are able to do within their own immune system mm -hmm. to the level of the autonomic nervous system. Uh, 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 and I talk with a lot of immunologists and professors and uh, uh, this should be taken up uh, seriously uh, through investigation and research and through critical minds. But please wake up and see that we as humans have a much more possible power to deal with uh, contemporary problems like chronic inflammation yeah. uh, and stress related diseases. It is now very clear that chronic inflammation happens because uh, of acidity in the, uh, 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 the wrong pH levels in the, uh, uh, say, the lymphatic system. And we could not get into that and cleanse it or rise the pH levels. Now we are. Yeah. With that, we take away the cause because if long term uh, presence of uh, uh, the wrong pH levels in the lymphatic system exists, it gets back into the system and then you get the autoimmune diseases. How simple. Think yeah. about it and prove me wrong because I've been verifying this and talking through with real experts in the field and they see this. And why is this not being taken up? make a critical note over there that a natural method could actually eliminate 95 percent of autoimmune diseases the cause for autoimmune diseases prevention as you mentioned yes. uh, rishi yes we are there and even people with uh, chronic diseases like uh, uh, crohn's disease or uh, rheumatoid uh, arthritis among others we are able to bring it down and then uh, the the inflammation the overactive immune system so the cytokine storm and uh, it's all there yeah. so uh, look it up we got it proven in a, a, a quite a small study but hey man if 12 people suddenly 100 percent score uh, within a, a study uh, uh, compared to 16,134 with the same experimental model show completely different than, uh, 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 and they show the influence on the, uh, 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 the autonomic nervous system, the uh, innate immune system, actually the specific adaptive immune system as well, yeah. and uh, uh, the endocrine system profoundly influencing therein and then bringing down the inflammation caused by an E. coli bacteria, then you as a doctor, you should know how late it is. Not me as a dropout telling you what to do. No, man, uh, 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 let your investigative spirit rise to the light and bring on the critical minds and, and better humanity for unnecessary suffering going on. You are built to do that. The oath of Hippocrates, the yes. Paracelsus, it's all there. Be, be morally there. Wake up to your morals to be an, a real investigator. And if something has been found to mm. whomever it was, does not matter, that is able to benefit uh, 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 human mankind by taking away unnecessary suffering for so many p good people, then, hey, man, come on, please. I love you. I love your spirit. I love your mind. Make it work. Yes. So I don't, thank you, Wim. So I don't believe in the notion of like, you know, modern medicine and alternative medicine. Like, you know, they're two different factions. But I believe, you know, rather than calling it, you know, alternative medicine, I prefer to call it complementary medicine and um, or holistic. So I kind of practice in more of an integrative or holistic manner with complementary medicine, treating patients. And as I said to you before, my mantra is prevention is the cure. That's my focus. So what are your thoughts about modern medicine and preventative healthcare? Yeah, uh, preventative uh, healthcare, it, it, that will be, the, uh, that, uh, that is the future. That is part of the awakening to a control, uh, innate control of the deeper physiology of ours, which is not only the immune system, but also mood regulation. 
psychiatric uh, mental disorders and all that is uh, going to be the past that we need pills and medicines and and injections to deal with that no we don't we need to awaken and we have shown this in science uh, to awaken to connect with neurological uh, through neuro awakening neurological pathways that are able to ignite uh, the immune system much deeper uh, the endocrine system uh, and uh, uh, the yeah endocrine system which is controlling our mood uh, nobody doesn't uh, uh, would not choose not to be happy if they would have the control to be happy to be able to regulate their mood but we are not schooled in that and that's why i go through science i want science to come in please come in i, I am uh, uh, in no need anymore to be convinced that this is uh, what works in modern uh, problem uh, 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 problems like uh, mood uh, pandemic uh, depression I'm call I'm, I'm talking which I'm doing the study uh, right now in collaboration with top researchers in the field in the UCSF uh, San Francisco they are at the top on the DNA research and uh, pandemic uh, depression mm -hmm. I'm working we uh, we we did it and in June, it comes out. The public. Yeah, so we're we're going to get it. It yeah. will show. Yes, it will Very show good. that mm -hmm. hormetic exercising, hormetic exercising, hormesis, uh, that that uh, that we are able to control that and uh, to uh, 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 it works like a vaccine inside the cell, and it will bring down the inflammation, create a protective shield around the cell. Uh, like cold shock uh, proteins it will lengthen our lives by uh, uh, favoring uh, the environmental condition of the telomeres and uh, the gene expressions will be positively influenced through positively influencing the transcription factors uh, like nf kappa b and uh, things like that it's on the way we already did it we already showed it and the future thus is if, uh, uh, to be preventative yeah. to be preventative is to uh, learn to connect with a, a, co a deeper control within our physiology uh, which makes us able to fend off bacterial str stress in any shape so bacterial mental emotional uh, 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 viral stress any stress all is stress cell biological stress and we are able to influence into the cell biology to make the cell stronger and, the, and uh, uh, influence it through the RNA into the DNA and even our ancestry, the in encrypted genetical codes. We are able to release or uh, to, uh, uh, to recover the uh, closed up proteins on the, on the genes. That means uh, trauma inflicted from uh, past centuries. Mm -hmm. And that, that is the soul. So I love it's the way our you... four forefathers, mm. yes. ancestors. I love the way you yeah. use science in, to back up your, you know, your research and your data. I'm just wondering, in terms of you know doing a randomized control trial, you know that's where people administering the test don't know what they, you know, if there's a medicine or a pill they're using, and the participants, you know, it's, you know, because if, if you're trying to, you know, randomize control trials, the Wim Hof method, you can't really tell people to, you know, they're going to be breathing, right? So what other ways can yes. people discuss using the Wim Hof method? You mentioned obviously using DNA analysis, using, so what other things are you doing? Any other ways we could use? Yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, you can uh, see what uh, if the uh, adrenal axis is being activated and uh, which uh, resets the body to its utmost of functionality. Now, in no need to go into very dangerous uh, uh, situations like I did. I did those things, you know, going into nature, climbing Mount Everest in my shorts. But would you not recommend That's everyone so, to do that? Would you uh, say we shouldn't do that? No, that, uh, there is no way. Hey, it's up to the person if he likes to challenge himself. Be prepared, I say. That's my advice. But there is no need to learn to tap into the deeper physiology of ours. Uh, and risking your life 
No, just do breathing exercises. We found it. That is the method. That is breathing exercises and gradual cold exposure. Rishi, the uh, killer number one is still the co cardiovascular related diseases. It kills millions of people in the West. And hundreds of millions of people have a poor vascular system. And that it, it, it brings the quality of life. It's the life force we are talking about. Mm. It, it brings it down. They become drowsy and dizzy and vulnerable uh, because of sclerosis, which is a biochemical process. And we have no uh, uh, way of tackling that. And I tell, hey, cold shower a day keeps the doctor away. You know, very simple things. Even the doctors are doing it. I am doing it. I'm having cold showers. I love it. It's great. <laughs> yeah. So we're talking about stress and inflammation, about how to beat it. So chronic inflammation is a key part of chronic disease. Research suggests that excessive inflammation plays key roles in the causes of the stress-related, you know, in stress-related diseases. Yet the basis for this connection is not fully understood. You touched on it briefly, but can you explain a bit more? What research are you involved in looking at chronic inflammation itself, you know, and how to beat stress in your the immune system? It, it, it is not complicated. It is actually very si uh, uh, simple. And we simplified it and showed that a continuous uh, presence of cortisol caused by chronic inflammation, caused by the wrong lifestyles, wherein there is no uh, acute stressful activity going on. So the deeper physiology is not at work, yet the normal stress of daily life still is working up on us. It's negatively influencing into the biochemistry, doesn't know how to handle it because the deeper physiology is not activated and thus it accumulates into chronic uh, uh, inflammation, which then uh, 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 go, uh, activates cortisol because there's danger uh, in the body to and cortisol is to fend off the danger but now it is chronic and when it is chronic then the parasympathetic nervous system is not able to activate itself it only activates when there is no action uh, of the uh, 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 sympathetic nervous system uh, going anymore now the hormonal balance changes and then we get into uh, a restoration. We get into uh, 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 rehabilitation and in the DNA into rejuvenation even. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, 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 the possibilities are endless. We found simple techniques being able to bring down the chronic inflammation by which the stress, uh, uh, stress hormones uh, will go out of our body. And then the repair, regeneration, good sleep, melatonin balance, good sleep, and all is happening. All the good things is happening. And we do not even need to change our lifestyles so much. It's just the deep breathing that is able to activate deeply the adrenal axis. Once mm. again, they it showed in uh, it showed in blood samples that this uh, these breathing techniques are able to ignite the or activate the adrenaline to a level much higher than people also blood samples taken in a comparative study of uh, two studies uh, of going into their first bungee jump that means that is profound and what happens when you get a profound spike of adrenaline going on in the body, you get to the utmost of your functionality to fend off danger. What was the danger? Chronic inflammation. And then it is out of the body and the body feels oh, rest. And then naturally it goes into rejuvenation into regeneration of energy, rehabilitation and healing. Yeah. All those restoration, repair, all the good things are happening. That is the simple uh, truth of the, uh, uh, our inner nature when it works the way nature meant it to be. So the thing which I find interesting, that's great, Wim. What I find interesting is people often think inflammation is bad. 
But actually, acute inflammation is good when you have a sore throat, when you have you hurt your toe. Obviously, you need certain chemicals to come across and heal your body. So that's the whole point of inflammation. So it's actually a useful thing. But the problem with inflammation is when it's chronic. That means it goes on for several you know months or years, and the body sort of just keeps being inflamed. Don't know what the cause is. Don't know what the problem is. Um, and it's trying to work out, you know, you know, some inflammation is good, too much is bad. So it's about finding that balance. And yes. you, which and, is important, and, right? So it's about finding, sorry, yeah. Yes, yes. No, it's exactly the way it is. Inflammation is the innate uh, immune system at work. And it is good because it needs to mobilize uh, 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 yeah, anti, uh, uh, how do you say, um, how do you see these anti stuff in, the, in Dutch? Um, or I don't know, Dutch. whatever. The, the, the cytokine storm needs to uh, uh, cool down. But first, the cytokines are there, uh, the activation of it to beat the intruder, the, the bacteria, the, the, the virus. Uh, but it should not be overactive. Now, uh, uh, what we have not done with our bodies in uh, 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 the way we are living our lifestyles is letting in stressors by which the immune system builds up then gets memory then becomes strong and then uh, the specific immune system which is a deeper part deeper level of the immune system then is able to work instantaneously Mm -hmm. So inflammation is a hey, that's uh, nice, but uh, it, it makes you having fever, headaches, uh, 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 all over agony and also and all, all these things. What we now have found is that the uh, the second uh, uh, layer of the immune system, innate immune system, does not need to work at the moment when the specific immune system the adaptive immune system is uh, 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 at work when an intruder comes in. Then you get a specific, uh, 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 specific molecules uh, or and or proteins on the cell membrane of the intruder, and then you don't feel anything. It deals directly at the beginning. Normally, with the flu, it takes five to nine days then uh, uh, the specific immune system is at work. And then suddenly from one day to another, hey, I'm, I'm okay again, uh, finally. Uh -huh. But we can make it work within a quarter of an hour. That is the difference. You see, yeah. inflammation is the second layer of the uh, immune system, which is a, a response of the immune system to the intruder. That is okay. But it does not need to happen, that cytokine storm, when the specific immune system is at work. Because then it's like Sherlock Holmes has found uh, Jack the Ripper uh, directly by uh, 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 intelligence uh, and a ghost. And not the whole uh, uh, nation is in fear and awe and the police mm. everywhere alarmed. Uh, it's not necessary. Jack... Uh, the Ripper is being found and being eliminated, incarcerated. Get out. There's yeah. space out there, not in here. I love Sherlock Holmes, by the way. So thank you for referencing Sherlock Holmes being from London. So thanks. I was wondering, right now. <laughs> research has also shown that, you know, there are key factors associated with inflammation, such as smoking, obesity and diet. But there is also evidence that irregular sleep and stress has an impact on inflammation in the body. And you know, what we've seen with the Wim Hof method is that it's proven that, you know, mental st health, stress and willpower all improve. They all get better. So stress gets down, willpower improves, mental health improves with the Wim Hof method. And I think this is a very important thing to note. You know, obviously, irregular sleep can cause inflammation and problems. So what are your thoughts about, you know, with the Wim Hof technique in relation to sleep? Yes, uh, the the what, what the method does is it, it activates the uh, uh, the hormonal system in the depth and in this case the adrenal axis and that resets our hormonal uh, uh, homeostasis the way it should be 
when we need sleep it's because we need regeneration we need to go into parasympathetic nervous system activity but that is not possible when there is the presence of cortisol when there's the presence of uh, a stress hormone because of working because of worrying because of this or that or whatever it is stress hormone still existent and this method eliminates the uh, uh, superfluous cortisol in the body and then the melatonin is simply able to kick in the way it should when you feel sleepy the melatonin is uh, at work and it should have no blockage of cortisol or other stress hormone residue uh, in the body and uh, uh, and this is the way it works and uh, uh, it's great because during the night you can finally also get to sleep even with cortisol but uh, 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 with the presence of a, a part of a stress hormone but your uh, sleep will be not as profound and when it is not profound regeneration is not able to happen for real and that causes stress stress related disease this is is not being at ease is being in disease and uh, it is stress related because the stress hormone is still there and it is uh, not letting you to tap into the say rapid eye movement sleep uh, where oh, deep yeah. restoration is happening uh, of trauma of of whatever stress you caught and it's in there it's not worked out it's worked out at that moment that's why we have that the deep sleep where the autonomous processes the subconscious takes over and deals with uh, whatever shit is going on the way uh, uh, and then uh, 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 we get back in in the morning we feel like wow i can beat the world <laughs> and that's the way it should that is the uh, simple answers it's a, a simple uh, uh, solutions uh, uh, there are for great matters and the matter is that you should every day uh, feel energized feel a irrational drive to live your life every day great no that's fantastic thanks Wim. very powerful stuff so what are your thoughts about you know the coronavirus going on i know everyone's you know i'm sure you've talked about it but what are your thoughts about this in relation to the wim hof method and your thoughts yes, in general so uh, there is a study right now on uh, people who are uh, who have suffered from COVID uh, in Poland, and they are doing the study right now. But they uh, predict a, uh, a great outcomes for people doing this method, uh, having suffered from COVID because the uh, no pulmonary condition has been deteriorating and uh, pneumatic uh, oedemia has uh, caused damage. Uh, the cytokine storm, the, the whole thing, that, that thing. Uh, uh, we have shown that even COPD, a COPD can be re reversed through the method. I mean, that, that was irreversible. The thought of irreversible, it is just going down and you die in the end. Uh, and uh, 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 now uh, uh, it's anecdotal, of course, and I want to study it. The people, all the scientists, they should get into this because this is an answer to bring down uh, inflammation in the beginning effectively, which is uh, the, uh, the way the symptoms of COVID start. That is inflammation. Those are the IL-1, interleukin number 1, number 6, number 8, number 11 and 17. Those are the damaging factor, the cytokine storm. We can effectively bring those inflammatory markers down within a quarter of an hour. But the, apparently there is no interest to do that because of money. And whatever is going on, there is a simple answer. The nature knows the answers. Our inner nature knows the answers. Only we have to connect deeply within through what? breathing yes so, so this, this, I, I love this, I, this I welcome you welcome I, I welcome anybody to do this study that uh, uh, and you know what uh, Rishi uh, I got a proposition of uh, Harvard University uh, New York University and Stanford 
to do a simultaneous study, a, a, a combined study, on purely on inflammation. And because 60 to 70 million people every year, one and a half million day, uh, people died of COVID last year, but 60 to 70 million every year on inflammation. And we mm. have shown to bring down inflammation effectively within a quarter of an hour, like more than considerable. Uh, count how many deaths we could prevent, how much uh, quality of life and confidence and uh, 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 the ability to uh, uh, giving uh, giving to people who deserve it, eh? good people, the uh, ability to have an absolute sense of control over uh, over those uh, over the immune system and their mood. That how how would this world change? That 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 that, that is just amazing. That's and, so are you are, are you doing it? Thanks. No, thanks. Are you doing a, are you doing a, a research with Harvard University? Is that what's happening? Are you doing it with Harvard? Yes, very soon. Uh, 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 very soon we are doing uh, this study on uh, inflammation. Well, that's amazing. That, uh, yeah, yes. And, uh, but we actually, we already did this. Eh? Inflammation, inflammatory markers, interleukins the cause and effect uh, through uh, viral and bacterial uh, uh, stress mm -hmm. uh, that, that is the damaging factor of COVID. And we showed in 2014 how to get it down. So, yeah, well, uh, uh, people should know this. Uh, 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 just look into it and don't think, oh, there's a this is a natural way to bring it down effectively. And that is a, a enormous gravity is therein, and th we should relate to it. And it's common sense now. It's in the university books. We are able to tap into much deeper in our systems and regulate uh, the immune system at will and our mood, which is uh, uh, the endocrine system: dopamine, serotonin, cannabinoids, opioids. We are able to do all that. We are able to become strong happy and healthy it's yeah. a choice no dogma no religion it's everybody the same i wish everybody to be happy strong and healthy and we found it through science that those are little studies but yeah doesn't make money guys it's your happiness you cannot buy happiness you cannot buy health or strength you can obtain it and here it is so wim i'll just I've, someone's having a party back there, I think, but um, I just wanted to ask you another question, Wim. You know, obviously, you're very charismatic. I think Russell Brand called you radioactive. Oh, radioactive. It's my, it's my uh, little son. Oh, cute. My, uh, my oldest son is 38. My youngest son is three years old. It's the power of Wim Hof uh, keeps going. Yeah. Really oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. I'm bloody Vera. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, very soon I have my 62nd uh, birthday and I will be immersed for 101 minutes in icy water. 101 minutes? Just to, 101 just to, minutes. Just to increase the virility, the strength, the strength. Oh, uh, it, they, you know what they saw? The, uh, uh, the genome that is responsible for virility is spiked through this method. Just that fact, uh, just that fact uh, could kill a, a, a whole industry on Viagra, for example. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. The power, the power, Wim. You've got the power. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> and Wim, you know, obviously you've got such a, you know, you're very, you know, your charisma is very, you know, Infective and you know Russell Brand called it's called a radioactive charisma. You know you're really you know powerful and influential, and your methods are so simple. And I think part of the charm of the Wim Hof method being so successful is obviously yourself. You know you're an incredible person, and you know right. speaking to other in, you know listening to other interviews in the past, you've sort of talked about how you used to be quite a shy person before when you were younger, right? What was the turning yes. point, tipping point? You think? To becoming this amazingly 
powerful person that's affected millions of lives. You know, when you, I lost my wife in 95, and there I was, without money, with four children, broken-hearted. Then you, you, you just pledge to yourself to find ways to survive. How, you don't know, but you got to do it anyway. And that's what I did. I went in doing it instead of thinking about it. I had to be there fully in energy for my kids who had just lost their mother and we had no money. So there, there we were. And from there, I just did it. I didn't follow up on my thoughts I followed, or, or, and my mind. I used a different part of the mind and that I found through cold water. Cold water makes your mind still. It healed me because the agony of a broken heart and why, 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 why was no longer there when you go into the cold water. And when you, once you find that and you experience it, you go back, 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 more, more, more. At the time of my wife's death, I had no power. Uh, and the whole psychiatric uh, world had no power over her mental status. And now I'm working after 25 years. Now I'm doing groundbreaking research through brain scans and blood proof, showing that we are able to tap into the deepest part of the brain, which was considered to be impossible, that we are now doing effective uh, uh, studies on pandemic depression. It's happening in all the world with all the technology. So many people commit suicide and have depression. And now I found the ways to tap into the mind and control that what is out of regulation, which is the mood, which is the dopamine, the serotonin, the endorphin, the cannabinoids and the opioids. And I found it. I, back then, I was driven through sorrow and deep grief, but now I am powerful and I am sharing it because I do not wish nobody to go through what I have gone through. That mm. is my love for my wife. That is the love for life. And that's the love for every person in the world who uh, is rightfully there to live in happiness, strength, and health. Back then, I could not. Now I can. So I will. And together with people like yourself, we bring it to the people. And that makes this work uh, a life prevent, uh, I mean, uh, 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 people preventing from suicide. There is no need for suicide. Mm. You are able to regulate your mood and inflammation and your uh, depression and all these things, they are able to be controlled by you. We have never been schooled therein. That's why people like yourself are great teachers to bring this outside of the schooling to the awareness of people. And once they begin to pick it up, then uh, people will not only wake up to that those powers, but they will also ask the questions, uh, what, what are these governments doing? What, 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 uh, uh, they are not providing for our happiness, strength, and health. They are providing for a couple of people who are in power, taking all our energy and money. And we got to work in stress uh, 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 with them. And then when we have problems through that stress, they give us pills, and to, to, uh, which is a whole industry. It's like parasiting. And that it needs to be over. Now people begin to think for themselves and uh, uh, being there and being able to serve their happiness, strength and health for the families. Nothing more than for the families. It's a basic right, a fundamental right. And we need to stand uh, and to rise, uh, uh, rise up and make the change happening. So what I think of COVID, I think it is a, it, it, it's a bloody monopoly uh, a game going on controlling our minds, controlling our economies, all kinds of forces going on. Hey man, get the fuck out of here. I'm here, Papa, and I want to provide happiness, strength, and health in my home. 
And with health, I mean no virus, no bacteria. And with uh, uh, happiness, I mean the control over my hormonal system. And with the uh, 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 power and strength, I mean the uh, control over energy systems within us to have plenty of energy, more than I need, so I can give it away. I can be helpful to others. I radiate energy. I'm in love with the world with every day that uh, a present. And that is like being in love with life is being stronger, uh, uh, stronger than words and uh, minding. It's being pure being. As so they being, say present, in, uh, being present in the moment is a say, super important thing, right? Yes. Being present. That's what's great about the, exactly. you know, the life therapy, the breathing. You really become present. And being mindful and being present is a very hard thing. And I think it's really powerful that you allow yourself to be present. Do you think that's the secret? Of, what's the secret of your success with, like, you know, how have you affected many people? What do you think it is? Because you've taken a huge, uh, hugely, like, you know, it's a very, you know, I'm sad to hear about your, you know, your wife, you know, that, that situation, you've taken it and transformed it into something so powerful that millions of people have been. Yes. So what is your secret? I think, I think everybody understands my story. Everybody in the beginning, I told we are simple people mm. and every uh, uh, we make things simple back again because it overcomplicated all. We went to nature coming back from deep emotional trauma and now find uh, the control which the whole of society and its technology and its and its uh, uh, understanding could not provide so i stood up i did the hero's journey to go past the existent paradigm created by fear regulations and the schooling that is serving everything except for the uh, guarantee to become happy strong and healthy i'm a simple person i make stupid jokes uh, uh, but I hey, hey they're not stupid. They're great work. jokes. They're funny jokes. They're very great. They're not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, we take. We are funny people. We, uh, but seriously, we will change the world. That's it, and it needs change, and that's why we stand up. And here we are, guys. Hey, uh, we want to make the world happy, strong, and healthy. Everybody, and show it uh, through science. And let them come, come with your critical minds, because I know the truth is right here in me. I'm a father with a mother uh, providing and guaranteeing happiness, strength and health for our children and all the living beings around me and in harmony with nature. And that is the future. And let the future come to this moment. That's why we work the way we work and we bring it that awareness neurologically proven and a, 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 li a little studies may be done but the studies really you can not deny it it is what it is and the present power system comes up with all the media that this is not possible and there is little study what the, wh wh what the heck are you doing i just want to be happy strong and healthy don't give me any complicated shit that you have to follow this and that and careers and when you uh, get the sack you will become unhappy and depressed and that nobody knows what to do they should teach children in the primary school to be ha what is happiness what is strength and what is health and never lose it that control because when you get the sack or this happens or that, that if you are in control over your happiness strength and health what the heck i don't care it's okay hey man i work and i'm a, you need to work on your happiness your strength and health every day to be present the way the soul is here and manifesting the way you feel purpose it's all there when that is there then stress is not there and speaking thank you women so what are the plans for you in the future you know we're talking about the future what are your future plans so I am reaching out to millions of people now, and, uh, and, and that's a blessing. But I want to reach out to billions of people. I'm doing. Uh, I'm using the great marketing tools, like the BBC uh, wants to do a six series with uh, famous people in Britain, and uh, and uh, a Hollywood film is going to be made uh, this year. 
I'm going to do more books and we'll make them a New York Times bestsellers and, uh, and more of those things. I just had on and I, got, I, I want not to reach uh, millions, which is a blessing already, but billions of people. We're going to make this world a happy, strong and healthy place because that's the way we are born and it's our birthright to be happy, strong and healthy and to know the purpose of us here on this earth, which is love, love, love. Yeah, oh, that's great. So you're going to be in the film, are you? So you're going to appear in your own Hollywood film. Are they going to make a film yeah. about you? No, it is Joseph, Joseph Fiennes. You, you know Joseph Fiennes? Yes. Yeah. He, he is playing me. Oh, wow, that's great. He's playing my, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. And the BBC One He's series. Training. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, and and more of those history channel, and I, I, I make a lot of documentaries. But oh, that's fantastic. the thing is, I I just want to make manifest uh, to reach out to every person, actually every person in the world, that there are non dogmatic uh, choices uh, 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 wherein people can obtain happiness, strength, and health by adopting natural methods, natural things, not too complicated, very simple, accessible, but powerful and, uh, and, and give people back or give people autonomy over their deep physiology, like instantaneously, like within a half hour. Wow. No, thank you so much Wim, for coming on the show. I really appreciate your time and your effort. It's been really awesome. And if you know, if you like the show, if you, you know, if you like this, obviously be really, I'll be really grateful if you like Dr. Sean Powell on Facebook and YouTube and Instagram, and we'll be doing more shows next week, bringing powerful people into the community to find out. Cause I really, my main mantra is prevention is the cure. And I really thank you, Wim, for everything. You know, I'm definitely going to take more ice baths to get stronger, you know, virility. So I need to become like you, Wim. <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, but virility is also the sexual intercourse with every day. Yes. With the day itself. Make love with the universe. Le learn to love li uh, uh, life like you love to make love. Then you are all right. Great. <laughs> Thanks again, Wim. I really appreciate your help, man. Thanks again. You take okay. care. Take care. Thanks, take everyone. Take care, Rishi. Ciao. Ciao. Bye, Wim. Bye, everyone. Thanks again. See you next time.